coming up, we have your December 2022 Las Vegas real estate market update. Hey everyone, I'm Steve. And I'm Kristen. We are the Thomas Group with Real Broker, your local Las Vegas and Henderson Realtors here today to bring you your December 2022 Las Vegas real estate market update. And we are here in one of the beautiful new villages in Summerlin called Kestrel. And it's stunning. It's tucked up into the mountains. And my favorite part about this is if you can get your binoculars out, are these <laughs> incredible. Get your go-go gadget yeah, eyes. Yeah. It, honestly, it's much more impressive in person. It never turns up well on video, but it's so pretty back here because not only do you have the strip on this side, you're tucked up into the mountains on the other side. We'll flash up some video for you. Um, there's tons of new construction up here right now. Prices range from 500,000 all the way up to about a million. And I feel like the builders are really taking advantage of all the natural beauty around. Yeah, and one of, one of the great things I think about this area here is, is it's staggered, right? Like, yes. so I imagine you're gonna have lots of views from many different properties. And I think it just captures like the whole valley very, very well, but also, just down here on the we're on our right hand side here yeah there's a trail that takes you into these mountains yes. where there's tons of mountain biking hiking walking i mean that go on for hundreds and hundreds of miles so if you yeah, like keep fit and you know you want to be out and amongst it in the mountains and stuff this is a definitely an, an area to look yeah. at and one more thing too because it's all new construction you've probably heard us harping on right about this but if you are ready to go in the next three months or so please reach out because we can get you some incredible deals on some of these new builds. I'm talking like $100,000 off the, the price. Yeah, Kristen's put a couple of contracts into escrow um, in the last week, I think, yeah. which you've got the clients like 100 grand less than the advertised price. Yeah. So Kristen's our, our new construction expert. If you're looking at new builds or interested in this area, make sure you let her know she's got all the hookups. Yes, I'd love to help you guys. One more thing as I'm shaking up here, one reason why people like Summerlin too is it's actually colder than down there in the valley, especially as you get up here in the foothills. So, I mean, it's probably 10 degrees colder up right now. I don't know, but my head, my bald head is cold. Oh no, we should have given you a woolly hat. So yeah, anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, your hands are cold oh, too. Yeah, I know, I'm freezing. So anyway, in the winter, it's cooler, but those 10 degrees in the summer, I mean, that makes a big difference, so. Yeah, and it does some actually sometimes snow in Summerlin. It does, yeah, yeah you get yeah, a little yeah. dusting, so. Yeah. All right, so enough of the weather and uh, the geography and top of yeah, yeah. and all this <laughs> good stuff. Uh, what's going on in the real estate market? Yes, yeah, so we have um, had another very interesting month seeing a lot of the same that we've been talking about. Let's start with our single family home statistics. The median sales price was $431,000. That's a down 2% from the previous month and still up 2.6% year over year. But what I think is more significant to look at is the change in price from our all time high, which was in um, May of this year. So the all time high median sales price was just over $480,000. Okay. Now we're down to about $431,000. But something that I really wanted to point out, and I'm going to flash up um, onto the screen, um, a chart with the zip codes all across the valley. Cause we're talking about every week, right? That real estate is, is local, hyper local. Hyper local. And I think it's really easy to see like, oh, well the prices have dropped $50,000. This is the median, this is all over the valley. I want to flash up this um, zip code chart because I want to show you the, why it's so important. I mean, the median sales price change is so different across all the valley, kind of the central part of the valley, mm. the downtown, all of that. That's actually seen year over year price depreciation of 10%. I'm seeing in um, 89146, minus 22% year over year in 89169. But you're, you're, you're seeing in 89052, we still have 10% year over year appreciation. Thank you. I was getting so excited. I didn't even mind I was eating my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's, I mean, we're, we're harping on it all the time, but you really need to look at the, the, the yeah, micro. Yeah, because this, uh, exactly, yeah, because what you what we're say, saying about the median sales price decreasing is, is based, as you say, is based across the whole of the valley, but you've really got to pay attention to where you're shopping or right. where you live if you're selling, right? Right, exactly, exactly. Let's look at our unit sold. There were 1,521 single family homes that closed last month down 11.8% from the previous month and down 53.5% from the same time last year. 
yeah, sales just continuing to, to, to suffer. Yeah, and I expect that's going to go down even more in the next month, maybe even into January, because people do kind of put a pause on things over the holidays. That's happened almost every year, except during the pandemic, we kind of saw things stay elevated. Yeah. Let's look next at our new listings. There were 2,096 new listings taken last month, down 27.3% from the same time the previous month and down 26.5% from the same time last year. Again, we see this happening over the holidays. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 seasonal, right? Yeah. Like, but uh, again, the, 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 the most important thing to think about or remember in here is that the, the inventory is not just in increasing because people are needing to sell their houses. Like, right. despite what you, you, know, you might hear or you might read, um, people aren't listing their homes because one, interest rates are still very high, and two, well, that's a knock-on effect of it. They don't want to then sell their home and downsize or buy something, or pay twice the amount of money that they've been paying for the home that they're currently in. Right. So I expect that to, you know, to, to stay the same, for, like you say, for the next couple of months, and then hopefully Feb February will start having an increase in inventory, but I'm also anticipating a decrease in interest rates. Yes. And can I just talk about yeah. this just very Let's quickly? Because I just had a conversation with our nanny this morning. So our nanny's looking at, at buying a house and, and she said, but the, the Fed just increased the, the benchmark rate by 0 0.5 yesterday. Yeah. That's affecting interest rates again. And I said, well, interestingly enough, interest rates, mortgage interest rates, have actually been decreasing for five weeks straight. Five weeks straight, yeah. Right, and what you have to remember is that when the Fed is increasing this bench rate, it's not directly affected to mortgage interest rates. Something that is actually the, uh, the has the closest correlation to mortgage interest rates is, is the 10 year treasury. And I'm gonna be doing a separate video on this coming up shortly. Yeah. So I won't talk a bit more about it now, but stay tuned, but stay tuned because in, in January, which we anticipate rates going back down into the fives, if that happens, then I think we're gonna be in a very, very strong market again. It's not gonna be crazy like it has been, right? But it's 100% but it's, it's gonna pick back up. It'll stay It already has, right? It already like, has. Even just in our group itself, in the, yeah. in, in the last like six weeks, yeah. right? And, so, and since all the, the new construction sales reps are seeing similar. Picking, it's picking back yeah. up again. So um, we, do, we do anticipate a decrease in, in interest rates, but uh, no one's got a crystal ball and we'll see where that goes. But, but stay tuned for our, uh, our update that we're gonna be doing on that. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about inventory. There were 7,342 single family homes available for sale last month, down 7.1% from the previous month. So again, this is what Steve's saying. We're seeing that inventory decrease every month. And although prices are still dropping as an effect of the, the high interest rates, that is going to stabilize soon, we believe. Inventory's up 161% from last year. But again, that was a crazy time. Yeah. Absolute crazy time. We have 4.8 months of inventory, which has increased slowly. Um, you want to tell people about what that means? Yeah, you know, for those people that be watching, you know, our channel every month, you know what I'm about to say here. But for those of you that haven't, welcome. Balanced inventory is basically six months of inventory, which neither favors the buyer nor the seller. So at 4.8 months, it's uh, it's 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 definitely uh, it's getting to favor this favor the seller. But again, it's all very local. This is a broad. Yeah, uh, analysis that we're giving you here. If we look at certain communities in, in town, we'll show you that they've got a lot less inventory and it's still a buyer's market. Or in Mountain's Edge where they've got a ton of inventory and it's a buyer's market. Let's take a look at our condo and townhome numbers. The median sales price last month was $260,000. That was down 2.3% from the previous month, still up 8.3% from the same time last year because I mean, we really, really saw those condo and townhome uh, properties appreciate quite rapidly, especially at the end of the pandemic there, because people have been pushed out of single, single family homes. And um, also interesting to note is the high peak, I suppose you could say, was where we were for condo and townhomes was $285,000. So we're down about 7% from the high on condos and townhomes. That's it? That's it. Single family, we're down 10%. So interestingly enough, because the interest rates, like we just said, they're, they're pushing people to condo and townhomes. 
So even from the peak, they're, they have not dropped quite as much. That's which interesting. Is, it is interesting. It's different than a normal like downturn or slowdown where traditionally the condo and townhomes over time don't appreciate as right. much. So always, always fun here in the real estate market. <laughs> there were 462 units sold last month down 1.3% from the same time last month and down 46.4% from the same time last year. There were 492 new listings, down 28% from the previous month and down 31.2% from the same time last year. This is following very similarly to what we're seeing in the single family market. Let's talk about inventory. There were 1,633 units available for sale. We saw that decrease 8% from last month and it, the inventory is up 230% from last year. This one's interesting. We have 3.5 months of inventory for condos and townhomes. That's down from last month. Oh. So that's different than, than um, mm. single family. Single family, we're slowly seeing that, that number go up slightly. Condos and townhomes decreased. Well, I, I think that's maybe because of what you've just been talking about, yeah. right? Like people still priced out of single families that for one reason or another need to move right now, right? Because things happen and people need to, to, to move. Um, if there's either not the type of house on the market that they're looking for in the area that they want to live or the price point is, 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 is put, the interest rates have pushed them out. They're now propping up that market. And so it's still a good time if you're a seller of a condo or a townhome yeah, really here is. in town um, because it's still uh, pretty much a seller's market. Right. So mm -hmm. you're freezing. I can, I can hear your teeth like chattering <laughs> oh, as you're no. standing here next oh, to no. me. Oh no, sorry everyone if my teeth were chattering. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you, if you are if moving you, to <laughs> Vegas, it, <laughs> it does get cold here. So pack your sweaters. <laughs> yeah, people are like, cause don't let the sun uh, fool you. And like people think, oh, it's always hot in Vegas, but yeah. it, it does it does get a little bit chilly here. So is that all, have we got That's all, that all, all on got. the data? Yeah. Awesome, very good. What did you learn in real estate this month? One thing that I learned is that depending on where you are buying your new construction home, sometimes there is a payoff penalty for your SID or LID and some a, a prepayment penalty. Sometimes there is not. Can you explain what a SID or a LID is? I would is? love to. So a SID or LID is a, a way that new home builders pass the cost of infrastructure off to um, buyers. And by infrastructure, I mean the, the, the roads, the sewers, the sidewalks, the lights, um, and it's held in a, in a bond so that the government can make more money off of it and further increase the, the amenities. So, um, but anyway, when you buy new construction, you generally have this SID or LID, which stands for a Special Improvement District Tax or Local Lo Improvement District Tax. The difference is if you're in Las Vegas, it's a SID, Henderson, it's a LID. It's a LID. Um, but it will generally be about $10,000 that's attached to your property and you'll usually be paying off, I would say, an average of $1,000 a year um, throughout the course of 10 years up to 20 years. It just depends on the size the, of the house and the, and the, yeah, contract. the property. Yeah. Some of these properties here in Summerlin, I think they're paying them off for over 25 years, which it's important to know that because there's interest on this bond. It's 6% right. interest and that's why a lot of people do like to pay them off up front because that's up over time. That's up over time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I learned. Awesome. Good. Good. I, I learned, uh, and I guess this this probably this is going to apply to anyone that's looking at selling a home. I know when you're selling a home, we've sold our our own home before. Uh, there's emotion attached to it, right? Yeah. Like you've you've built up memories. You might think that your house is better than anyone else's in the neighborhood for various reasons, right? And and we're, we're attached to things that that are our that are ours. But if someone's writing an offer in any market for you, this is a, this is a, a tip for you. If they send you an offer and you think it's ridiculous, send them a counter. Like even if the counter offer is exactly the, the same price that you're asking, send them a counter so that the buyer knows where you stand. Because I can't tell you how many times recently I've seen emotions get involved in a, in a, in, 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 in this and it can ruin everything. And it, you as a seller might never know what the buyer's prepared to pay unless you tell them what you want for your home. But if you don't ever counter them, you're never gonna get anywhere. So if you're looking at wanting, you know, if you want a little bit of advice on, on, on selling your home here in town, we would love to help. We 
offer a, a guarantee for you that if we aren't able to bring you an acceptable contract within 29 days of us going live on the market, we'll waive all of our commissions. So uh, I'm not here to pitch you on any of that, but uh, if you want more information on that, then you know, visit our website, thethomasgrouplv.com. But for now, I uh, hope that you enjoyed our real estate market update. The absolute best wishes are going out to you and your family and your friends, wherever you are. Uh, happy New Year, happy holidays. Um, we hope 2022 is being kind to you and 2023 is even better. But for now, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again. Bye.